Ever since I was a little girl, I have enjoyed watching the clouds and seeing the different shapes that they make. Oh look, pirate, that one looks like you. Clouds are very pretty. They come in all different shapes and sizes. They can be white and fluffy, or they can be dark and gray. But what are clouds made out of? Clouds are made from water droplets. These water droplets form on tiny particles in the air, like dust. As they come together to form a group or a cloud, we call that condensation. As more and more water droplets join in our group, the cloud gets heavier and heavier until we have precipitation. I want to create my own model today to help me visualize this process. So I am going to make rain in a cup. First, I take my cup and fill it with water. For my next step, I used three different substances. The first time through, I used shaving cream gel. The second time, I used spray pool whip, and we also have foaming shaving cream. These substances form our clouds. Now, I'm going to take blue food coloring, which will act as our water droplets, and start adding them to our cloud. As more and more water droplets gather, our cloud is so full that it starts raining food coloring. Out of the three different substances that I have used, foaming shaving cream is my all-time favorite. Now that I have conducted an experiment that allowed me to visualize rain, I want to do an experiment that will allow me to review even more of the water cycle. For this experiment, I am taking a bowl and filling it partway with water. Then I'm going to place a coffee cup in the bowl. Next, I cover the bowl with plastic wrap and secure it with a rubber band. Now that my model is put together, I need to set it out in the sun. The heat from the sun is what causes water to evaporate. Have you ever noticed that one day you'll have water puddles out in your yard, but then the warm sun comes out and the water starts to disappear? That's because the heat from the sun causes the water to turn into gas and evaporate. As the gas or water vapor meets cooler air, that's when condensation occurs and clouds form. Then, when our clouds are full of water droplets, we receive precipitation. As we observe the bowl, we can see that the plastic wrap is forming misty clouds. Once those clouds are full, down comes the rain. Now if we take off our plastic wrap, we can see that our empty coffee cup is no longer empty because it rained inside our bowl, putting water into our cup. At the end of the school year, I assign science experiments to the students. This is great for learning, and since each child receives a different experiment, it's also a fun way to review for our upcoming science test. These are two of the experiments that I often assign for our science final. The students will observe the clouds for two weeks and log which ones they saw. Then they will complete their hands-on portion. Once their experiment is done, they will create a PowerPoint that explains their experiment to us and what it represents. They also include pictures. Some of the students choose to do the hands-on portions again for us in class. This is a lot of fun and I do provide them with quite a bit of time to complete it. Before you go, let me know in the comments down below if you have used these experiments before or if it's something that you're going to start implementing into your classroom. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and remember to be proud of your work, productive in your day, and positively joyful.